Max? Hey, Marty. Oh, I didn't mean to disturb you, but Swade asked me to meet him here first thing in the morning. He said it was um, necessary to Look, take it. Uh, Marty, I have important things to do here. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, but, uh... very important things. Like this. What a surprise! Surprise! What is this? Was that my birthday? Of course not, but, uh, well, you're the... What is she, Max? Uh, you are the big contest winner. Mm-hmm. What contest? I didn't enter any contest. You didn't have to. It was a random drawing. Then you won. I won what? A full day of luxury and self-indulgence courtesy of... Serenity Spring Spa. The ladies' dressing room where you can change into your robe. And then we're going to get you a facial to start with, and then a mud bath, and then the sauna. And you may have the beverage of your choice for starters, papaya, guava, What's your passion. idea? Sweet, wasn't it? You, you put them up to this. Marty, nobody put anybody up to anything. Yeah, we, we thought you might just enjoy it. Luna, I know what you're trying to do. The trial's been a total disaster. Todd, Zach, and Powell are one day away from being acquitted. So Sweet asked you to try and cheer me up. Nothing wrong with little cheer, is there? What am I supposed to do? Just forget that the three men who raped me are going to go free? I'm sorry, it was going to take a little more than a mud bath and, and a facial to... Oh, I'm sorry, you're trying to help me, and here I am being ungrateful as usual. It's okay, we know you're upset. That's why we wanted to give you this time to kick back and pamper yourself. Besides, things may not be as grim as they seem. I told him about Nora Gannon. I think she believes her own clients are guilty. Not She's probably going been... to change anything. We don't know that. Sounds like Nora's struggling with her conscience these last few days. It seemed pretty clear to me that she was trying to get Powell to confess yesterday. If that's what she was doing, she failed. Doesn't anybody get what's going on here? She's the lawyer for the defense. All right, fine. Let her defend those three little pigs until the bitter end. So maybe it's not looking so rosy after all. But, darling, if you can't take one day to, to give yourself a break from the trial and all your misery that, that you've been going through since this horrible spring fling, then you might as well lock yourself up in hell. And it's not even going to matter what the jury says. Todd has won. You can give him the satisfaction of making you miserable 24 hours a day for the rest of your life. Tell me about that facial. How's that feel? How's that sting feel on your face? Does that feel good? Mm-hmm. Good. All right, now, um, why don't we take some nice, deep breaths? Just follow me. Keep breathing like that. And all that tension just come right on out of your body. That's good. That's real good. Now, let your hands just kind of drop to the side. Just let them just flop to the side. That's good. Just flop them. Kind of shake your fingers like they're spaghetti noodles. Just give them a good old shake. That's good. I bet you liked spaghetti when you were a kid, didn't you? I still do. <laughs> all right. All right, we don't let that... Fingers shaking, those noodles keep right on shaking and let it shake right on up to the arm. Shake your arms real good like good old spaghetti noodles. How does that feel? Does that feel loose? Yeah, it feels really loose. Good. All right, we're, gonna, we're not going to finish cooking you until you're done. Marty al dente. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. Just laugh. Just let all that cold, hard tension ease right on out of your body. That's good, Marty. <sighs> you know what? Your body is yours now. It's nobody else's. And deep down inside it, deep down where you haven't been able to go in a long, long time, there's something hidden down there. You know what it is? It's warm and it's good. It's 
your own special joy, Marty. Feel it. Hold on to it. Because it's something else that nobody else can ever take away from you. Here she is, the new Marty Saybrook. Ooh. I can almost feel the glow coming <laughs> off of you. That has got to be our patented mud wrap. You ought to try it, big fella. No, no, I think this has to do with a lot more than herbal scrubs, mud, and steam. You're right. Nah. It's got to do with all of you making me, well, making a fuss over me, making me feel so special. Well, that's because you are. I'm going to leave you here with your friends because i got to get something from the back. <laughs> uh, you're not still mad at me for putting you through the torture chamber, are you? It was hardly a torture chamber. It was heaven. Hey, I'm sorry that I came down hard on you before. And you, too, Max. Oh, no apology necessary. We just, uh, wanted to see those worry lines disappear. And believe me, there's not a one left. You look marvelous. <laughs> <laughs> now, the big question is, do you feel any better? Oh, much better. Yeah. Much better. Of course, I still have to get up and face another day in court tomorrow. Yeah, that's tomorrow. Okay. It's okay, sweet. Luna and I had a talk. About? Spaghetti. Da -da -da -da! For being such a great guest, we here at Serenity Springs Bob, will you take home a souvenir? Luna, you've already done way too much. Oh. Okay, we'll take it back. No, I don't think so. Now, I want you to... To repeat the treatment that we talked about every day and do it every morning and night, all right? All right. <laughs> Anina? What? Thank you. Sway! Uh. Why don't you take this pretty lady on home? And don't you mess around, you hear? Yes, ma'am. You ready, Marty? <laughs> I'm ready. Thanks, everyone, for everything. See you later, Marty. Yeah. Bye, you too. <laughs> Well, I tell you, the next time I need a miracle, I'm going to send my parishioners over to you at Serenity Springs. All in a day's work, Andrew. They don't call it Serenity for nothing, Andrew. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, <laughs> gotta go. Bye-bye now. Bye. Okay, let's have it. Have what? What did you say to Marty in the sauna? Ah. Some things are private. Luna. I just got her to, to ease her mind and to relax her body and get in touch with herself. That's it? Mm-hmm. <sighs> you know, you have truly got the gift. You know that? With just a word or with a touch, you can heal the deepest wound. Max, if you're right, and I do have this gift, it's a shame for me to hide it, you know, it'd be a sin. I mean, especially when I've, I've been where Marty has been, a rape victim myself. And, Max, there are so many women out there who can't deal with the pain of being abused and assaulted, and I just wish I could reach out to them and give them confidence and hope and... Would you listen to me? Mm -hmm. Talking like I can heal the world. <laughs> a part of it, Luna. You can do that much. In fact, you can do it right now. Mm -hmm.